Hot girl summer, here we come. This is how happy I want to look by the end of this video. I've been waiting for this one. Turn it up. This is really one of those trust the process moments because damn. <laughs> Raise your hand if you're in need of a summer glow up. Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be an affordable summer glow up and I can't tell you how excited and how desperately I needed this because let me just be honest, your girl has been down bad these past couple weeks. I actually sprained my knee or what I think is a sprain like two weeks ago and I also injured my wrist. It's getting much better now. I can, you know, move it. But um, for a while there, it was, it was hurting and uh, I'm on crutches. So that's great, you know, nothing like a little challenge to keep life interesting. But with that being said, it's been a little bit, a little bit hard to take care of myself. I think this is desperately needed today. I want to cover all my bases today. I'm talking a full glow up from hair to skin to nails. Let me break it down for you. So first I want to start off by cutting my hair. I haven't decided how short I want to go yet, but I'm thinking two inches off my hair maybe. And then after I cut my hair, I want to dye my hair because I still have dyed pieces from when I dyed the bottom half of my hair hot pink and there's still some color in it and it hasn't gone away. I only dyed it pink two times and that was like months ago and there's still color in my hair so it needs to go i don't want it anymore it's gone i'm just gonna go for like a regular color that matches my natural hair and we're gonna keep it simple we're gonna keep it cute and just go back to my roots a little bit okay i need to ground myself <laughs> after we finish the hair care i want to jump in the shower and then focus on my skin i want to do some under eye patches and then i want to shape my eyebrows i also i'm gonna do something that i've never done before which is kind of exciting but a little scary don't know how I feel about it yet, but we're going to be tinting my eyebrows. Then after that, I want to focus on my nails. I actually ordered some custom press-on nails from a shop owner on Etsy. Super excited for that. So with that being said, we definitely have our work cut out for us today. Hopefully I can finish this in a day. I think I can, but it's a lot of work. So let's get started. So let's talk about what I want to do with my hair because I've actually really been loving my natural curls lately. I've been embracing them and just wearing it natural. If you're familiar with what a Denman brush is, this is not it. <laughs> this is the dupe that I found on Amazon for it. And basically what it is, is it's a brush for curly hair. If you comb it through your hair, it's supposed to give you like really specific like curls, very defined curls. It's beautiful. I love it. So I've noticed that when I cut my little bangs up here, right, my hair just got extremely curlier than what it was before. And so I kind of want to play with that a little bit. I kind of want to you know, so I was thinking maybe something like this, maybe something at the shoulders. This girl's really cute. I feel like if I cut my hair this short, the curls would just be bomb. They would just be accentuated. So I'm thinking something like this. But you know what? I'm not leaving my house anytime soon because I'm still on crutches. So would it be that bad though? Like, would it be that bad? If you've watched any of my hair cutting videos before, you already know the drill. I'm gonna separate my hair into like six sections using the Brad Mondo hair cutting method. So nothing new here. Um, three, two, one. I'm back. So I've decided to cut off about this much. I know it's not a lot at all, but I'm a baby and I like to take baby steps. By the end of it, we're gonna look something like this which is usually the length that I always go for. But for now, this is what we're working with. So, hot girl summer, here we come. Okay. <laughs> Not that bad. The first cut is always the scariest for me, and then after that, I just lose all feeling. And I'm fine, I can do anything. It's like a walk in the park. So if you guys wanna watch any of the other videos that I've done this, um, feel free. I will leave them in the description. This is giving like rose gold brass. This is giving like trolls hair pink. <laughs> it's really just time to go back to my natural hair color. I'll tell you right now that was definitely not a clean cut. <laughs> I usually get like overly confident in the end and then I um, end up getting a little messy with my cuts. And now for the fun part, time to remove all the little hair ties. 
Okay. I see some unevenness already. It's great, it's just part of my brand. I can fix that later, no worries. I really like this haircut on me, you know? I realize that I really like this haircut. I think it suits me. It's like not too short, but it's just short enough. Now I'm just gonna go through really quickly, do some point cutting. Another successful haircut, if I do say so myself. I know it just looks like a big puff ball right now, but trust me, do not underestimate all this fur, okay? Because once it is wet and styled, she is a beauty. She shines. I look like a troll right now, but don't mind that. So I sectioned my hair so that I don't have to dye um, any of this hair up top because this is my natural hair. I haven't touched it at all. So I picked up this box dye. I know, box dye, boo, stay away from it, blah, blah, blah. You know what? I'm doing it, okay? I'm full sending it. It's just the bottom half of my hair and it's only temporary. Um, I just want to get rid of this color. Plus apparently this is supposed to be like a very gentle dye on your hair. It has coconut oil and aloe vera. So it's supposed to be super like conditioning as well. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad about it right now. Okay, step one, put on gloves. So then I'm supposed to open this bottle and pour some developer into it. And now I guess it's ready to dye my hair. Let's do it. I think it's dying already! <laughs> it honestly feels so nice to see my hair back to black. I've been waiting for this one. Turn it up! Just in case you were curious about how I shower since I've gotten injured. Yeah, I got a custom thousand dollar shower bench put in just for me. Um, super uh, glamorous and uh, makes my showers even more relaxing than they used to be. You guys, I just looked at myself in the mirror. Oh, <laughs> is this Shirley Temple? Because Look at these ringlets. This is the curliest that my hair has ever been. Look at these curls. Look, even my dog is crying because of how beautiful I look. Come here, mama. Look at my hair. I'm in love. Not to brag, but I had the most beautiful ringlet curls as a little girl and they're coming back. I'm just so happy about that. But can we also talk about this color match? This looks straight up like my natural hair color. Like, where's the difference? Spot the difference, I can't. I am just thoroughly impressed. So now let's move on to a little treat that I like to do every so often, which is under eye masks. It's probably one of my favorite things to do when it comes to like little spa days or skincare at home. I kind of want to switch things up because I feel like I always show you guys like my basic face wash and my face masks, the clay ones that I use. So this is the new one. I've been loving this one and I just use these whenever I feel like my eyes look really tired and puffy or I just need to feel and look awake. I like to use these in the mornings when I wake up late for like a meeting or something. I'll just pop these on and then once I take them off, my skin just looks so glowy and refreshed and I look wide awake. So we're gonna put these on and let it sit there and do its magic while I move on to other steps. So while this sits on my face, I'm gonna zoom you in really quick to my eyebrows. We're gonna do some brow work. So I picked up one of these little facial razors and I'm gonna use this to kind of shape my brows a bit because I don't get them waxed, I don't thread them, I don't really do anything to them besides tweeze them. So I kind of just wanna define them 
a little bit better and like shave off some of the hairs that don't belong there. So I just finished shaping the brows. I did a little bit of the stash. Okay, let's be real. We have facial hair sometimes. It's normal, let's normalize it. But now I'm gonna tint my eyebrows, which is kind of scary. It's a little bit scary. Yes, in theory, I could totally go to a salon and get it done professionally, but that's not what this video is about. That's no fun. This is the affordable way so i'm going to be using this just for men mustache and beard brush in color to tint my brows because i heard that it's very gentle on the skin and um, it works well for your eyebrows i got this idea from jenna marbles and then i did more research <laughs> um on how to properly apply this so hopefully we can get some good results with this i've seen a lot of good videos of people using it and it worked out perfectly for them um and the color lasts about two weeks i think and you get to keep the the rest of the dye that you don't use so i can just keep reapplying it if i like the way it turns out so let's get started i got the color dark brown because i have very very dark hair um i could have gone darker but i don't want to have jet black eyebrows that is not what i want i want them darker but still kind of subtle you know i just want some kind of some kind of color in there. I'm just gonna go in with some Vaseline really quickly and put that around my eyebrows so that it doesn't stain the skin surrounding my eyebrow. So it comes with these two little bottles. One is a developer and one is the color base. So I'm just gonna use the back of the lid to squirt equal parts. We'll start off with this much because I really don't think I need that much and I'm just going to mix it together. I'm going to start on the, the tail of my brow and leave that in for like two minutes, two, three minutes. And then I'm going to go in like at the last second and dye the front part just so that there's a nice natural gradient going on. And it doesn't look too crazy. Let me zoom you guys in. I feel like this is like a beauty tutorial. So I'm gonna be using this tiny little brush to apply the product in my brows. Okay, so they're getting pretty dark, so I'm gonna go ahead and make my way to the front sections. This is really one of those trust the process moments because damn. <laughs> This brings me back to like the middle school days. So the way I used to wear my eyebrows, oh my gosh. The second that I found out that darkening your eyebrows was a thing, I was in there like with the <laughs> darkest eyeshadow I could find. I think I was rolling up to school like this um, in high school, like freshman year. It's been like eight minutes, so I'm gonna go wash this off. Cross your fingers and do your step. You could do it all by yourself. Let me see. Do it. Pray for me because this might not be that funny when I come back. <laughs> Besties, I thought we did something, but um, I think I'm done. I think I'm done with this video. It's over. And what I'm really trying to say is it's over for you bitches because look at these brows. Stunning. Amazing. Like... I can't believe it. 10 out of 10 would recommend you to go to the store right now, get Just For Men in your eyebrow shade, and do this at home. Do it every couple weeks. This video has been just hit after hit after hit. So let's keep this energy going. Let's move on to the nails. 
So now we're moving on to nail care. Doing my nails has always been something that I've done for myself just to make myself feel put together. It's crazy how just a simple coat of nail polish can make you feel very pretty and put together and there's so many colors to choose from so you can really get creative with it as well. So if you're really looking for affordable, you could totally go to any store, pick up a nail polish and do your nails that way. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you wanna skip the nail salon without skipping out on the nail salon quality, um, I recommend doing some press on nails. Now, for some reason, press on nails get a bad rep. At the end of the day, if it looks pretty, if it looks, if everything looks correct, you know, like as long as everything fits your nails and it looks pretty, I'm all for it. So you could definitely go to Target, Walmart, get press on nails, but I wanted to go a little further and I went on Etsy and I picked up some custom nails by the shop owner Pressed by B. She even sent me like nail tools, a nail file, glue, all that stuff. I think I spent like $20 on this. So it wasn't even bad because if you go to the salon, you know that you're gonna be walking out spending like $50 or more. So. I'm super excited about this. This is the set that I picked out. I wanted to go for like a really cute summery vibe. And right now this like nail trend with the lines is really in. So I wanted to go for it. So I'm so excited. Like I said, doing my nails has been something that I've done since I was a kid. My mom is the person who really got me into doing my nails and um, it's just like a self care ritual that I have found myself doing since I was small. So this is nice. This is the current state of my nails. So I definitely need to cut them and um, file them down so that I can put these bad boys on. So I just finished my nails. <laughs> oh wow, I love them. They look so good, professional, salon quality nails. They're very sturdy. They're like very thick and like, but like not in a bad way. And they're so beautifully crafted. So seriously, shout out to Pressed by B. I will definitely leave her link down in the description box below because homegirl did that. What's a summer glow up without a little bit of makeup? So I will be right back. You don't need to see all that. Hi. <laughs> I'm like looking in the viewfinder and looking at myself in the mirror and I'm like, who is this girl? She is beautiful. I love her. I want to be her friend. But the gag is I am her. She is me. Um, and I love that. I love that feeling. I mean, the hair, the makeup, the outfit like you guys aren't even seeing the fit right now oh my gosh can we talk about the brows there's no brow product no like brow powder in my brows right now this is all from the tinting all i did was lay them down with some product and they are set these babies aren't budging can we talk about the fit okay i want to show you but i kind of need like a little um safety pin right here because there's some explicit content going on and i need to like safety pin this area but i'm wearing this like super cute flow blue polka dot dress and I like haven't worn a dress in years you guys so like the fact that I'm wearing a dress and I actually feel freaking beautiful in it is a whole other world for me but taking into consideration everything that we've done today we have really done the damn thing like this is probably the best makeover glow up that I've ever done on my channel and I'm so happy about it. Like in the beginning of this video, I was not feeling my best. I was not looking my best. And now we're ending the video and I feel like a freaking goddess. I look amazing. I would say that this is definitely a success. So if you're looking to glow up for summer really quickly, these are a ton of 
easy and affordable steps that you can take that will have you looking and feeling amazing but with that being said that is all for this week's video thank you so so much for watching if you liked it please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below because that really helps my channel out a lot if you're new here consider subscribing i post new videos every single week as always i love you guys very much and i will see you on the next one bye